My daughter and I have been training a little more than a month now for the St. Jude Half Marathon. Our regimen includes strength training, aerobic exercise, and running. Our workout plans call for gradual increases in intensity and miles. And one thing I've noticed, as the workouts get tougher, I've been getting exhausted, especially after longer runs. So we visited with a nutritionist here at NMMC's Wellness Center for some pointers to help us maximize our meal times. NMMC registered dietitian Leanne Davis says, when it comes to healthy eating, there are rules that apply to everyone. You want the majority of what you eat to come from whole grains, fruits and vegetables, your lean cuts of meat, your healthier fats. Um, you you want to stay away from you know the fried foods, the bacon, sausage, hot dogs, bologna. Those training for high endurance activities, such as half marathons, are encouraged to eat five to six smaller meals a day. Davis says it all starts with a great breakfast. Um, a bagel with peanut butter, add some fruit, maybe some yogurt or some skim milk. A sensible lunch and dinner are key along with two or three healthy snacks throughout the day. And Davis says none of it has to be complicated. In fact, she performed a quick demo for my daughter Alyssa. Just pick your favorite cereal. Um, we've got rice checks and cinnamon checks. Two cups of each of those in the bowl. Then for a salty component, two cups of pretzels, add a cup of dried fruit, half a cup of almonds, mix it all up, portion it out, half a cup to three-fourths of a cup in a plastic bag, and you have a healthy snack. She also points out it's important to stay hydrated with water or sports drinks, but watch out for those sodas and other drinks with caffeine and high sugar content. While Davis says a healthy nutrition plan is a key part of training, she does say it's okay to have dessert or another indulgence every once in a while. Now, on our next installment of Running for Jordan, we'll see as Jordan here is fitted for a custom wheelchair that I'll push in the December Marathon. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.